this will happen. Allah said in the Quran, this dream that you saw is a true dream. You're going to enter Masjid Al Haram. It will happen. Not this year, next. It will happen next year. So, this is the first type of dream that you see an actual enactment of what will happen. This is rarer. It's rare, but it happens. It's more common to the prophets. So, Prophet, Isma, Prophet Ibrahim sees what does he see? I see myself sacrificing you. There's no symbolism. It's clear cut, right? More common to the prophets. Uh, with regards to such types of dreams, our Prophet ﷺ narrates, Aisha tells us, that for six months before the revelation of the Quran, every single night, the Prophet ﷺ would see one of these dreams. For six months non-stop, every time our Prophet ﷺ would go to sleep, he would dream, What's going to happen tomorrow? He might be in the souq buying and selling. He dreams it. Next day, the exact same thing happens. He dreams he's going to meet somebody. Next day, that person comes, he meets him. One day, literally 12 hours gap. He sees the dream. The next morning it happens. For six months non-stop. Why? Allah is telling him something special is going to happen. Allah is telling him something great is going to happen. Preparing him for the revelation of Iqra. For six months this happens and then Iqra is revealed. So this is this type of dream. We said dreams from Allah are two types. Number one, no symbolism. Number two, symbolism. And this is the more common type. This is the more common type. Sometimes the prophets have it, yes. And more commonly, even non-prophets have it. And in this type of dream, every object that you see symbolizes, represents something else. So an ear of corn, represents a year of water, according to the story of Yusuf, right? Or a very fat cow and a very thin cow represents a year of drought versus a year of surplus, right? Or X represents Y. A tree represents this, the Kaaba represents that, okay? Light represents something else. In one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, 